Hello YouTubers! Welcome back to Yorkshire Room 66. I'm Mark, your host, hoping to entertain you this evening. Now, as promised, I did promise, I did say I'll do it. Um, somebody asked me in comments, am I a Captain Scarlet fan? The answer to that is, yes I am. <laughs> so now you know, yep, here it is, the Captain Scarlet review i've watched 16 episodes of this I, I, I've come, obviously i finished watching the thunderbirds and i started on this and I'm, i've been watching it that's why it's it's only fair to watch so many episodes before i do a review even though i've had it a while you know what i mean you need to refresh your memory of how it all started basically and that's my favorite favorite episode by the way of captain scarlet is the first episode where it's introducing you to it where they go up to mars and things don't go quite according to plan and obviously it's the own planet of the mysterons um if you don't know who the mysterons are they're the round circles oh we are the mysterons it's a cheap way that was a cheap and effective way of making a bad guy look good I, 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 i'll tell you that and um, then we have Captain Scarlet himself, then we have Captain Black himself, yeah, it's all there, and Captain Blue. And the Spectrum Vehicle, which they drive backwards. <laughs> well, they do. They sit, they sit, <laughs> sit facing backwards, don't they? Yeah, yeah. And driving it. But yeah, the Mysterons were such, I mean, I don't know how Jerry Anderson came up with it, but instead of doing puppets as the Mysterons, he did these two, this, these two circles as the mystery of uh, yeah, the voice of the mystery of absolutely spot on. Um, as you know, you've got Ed Bishop who does the voice of Captain Blue. You've got, I think, he, he, is it he, is he Francis? I can't remember his name. <clears throat> Some tell you. Francis Matthews who did the voice of Captain Scarlet. A lot of people thought it were based on Kerry Grant, um, even though it was widely known that the uh, face of it was modelled on a very young Roger Moore, uh, and that, but yeah, but there you go. So the voice of Captain Scarlet is not Kerry Grant, I, I as well, you because it's Francis Matthews who, who did the voice, and that, yeah. Who did the voice in the uh, first one? I think he did the voice of Captain Scarlet in the newish one. Well, that got cancelled, didn't it? <laughs> Do you want to know why? Because <laughs> it was crap. Ugh. <sighs> Uh. Oh, well, it don't tell you that. Oh, it's a pity that. It's a pity. But there you go. Um, so, yeah, you, you've you got this. The organisation is Spectrum, Spectrum Security. The lead, well, well the main man is Captain White, and then you've got Scarlet, and then you've got the Pawn, Enemy, Captain Black, then you've got Captain Blue, then you've got the Harmony Angels. You know, who, who fly about and really do fly about in these fantastic, fantastic jets, as you can see there. Look. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, it really is brilliant. Especially to name the characters after covers. Absolutely brilliant. You know, Jerry Hansen was a genius. I mean, and he came up with all this. He came up with the sets, he came up with everything. Even the models. I mean, the models are futuristic. And it had to because it was, it was supposed to take place in the 2068, which is you know far future from us. And it was supposed to be, if I hit 60, if I if I get to 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 that, I, I'll be I'll be 202 years old. I don't think I'll get that far. But there you go. But yeah. So that's the mystery ones. 
that is the Captain Scout and the Miss Drums. Uh, like I said, my favourite episode is this. It's straight at the beginning where it all took place, where Captain Scarlet becomes in, indestructible through through that accident, through a car, you know, through the accident. He doesn't know he's indestructible until he's well. Can you see there? It's car having a. He has an accident on Earth, and yeah, you know, you know, he, he him and his passions you get thrown, and and he don't die. He basically does not die. He he, he reheals. Well, he, he, he re rejuvenates himself basically. So he's in this, he, he, he's basically indestructible, basically. And that's it. So yeah, he, he, he's you know hours and hours and hours of fun, and it must have took Jerry Anderson a long, long time to do this. It, it really did. I mean. How can you put into words what this guy did? All I say is, he's a genius. Absolute genius. Film genius. Um, because when he did this, you know, he, well, he created the Super Mario Nation. Without him, this wouldn't have happened. You know what I mean? It wouldn't have happened. I mean, people have tried it before him. Don't get me wrong. But what Jerry Anderson did is to make it into Super Mario Nation like he did and how he did, you know, and to get the story to grab the imagination of the viewer, especially children. Um, I mean, I mean, don't forget Jenny Anderson's been entertaining like m my parents for years. So that is that, you know what I mean? And then he's been entertaining me for years and years and years. Um, and that, I, 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 yeah, he, he's an absolute genius. I mean, he did supercar. He did the uh, Fireball X, XL5. He did all that. He did the uh, the Secret Service, which the Secret Service I haven't got it, but the Secret Service was the very first one he, he made in colour. Then you got the Thunderbirds. Then you got Stingray, Captain Scarlet, Joe Ninety, and then you got Terrorox, which came in, in I think it was nineteen eighty one eighty two. And um, that was the very last he he, he did. He, he really did. And then, as we all know, Jonathan Frakes of Star Trek Frame from the Next Generation directed uh, Thunderbirds, <laughs> the film Thunderbirds. <laughs> yeah, uh, and that. And I don't know. I, I I've got it. I've got the film. I've seen it. It is very comical. It is, I don't know, it's weird because he's got all decent actors in it. Yeah, he's got Bill Paxman in it and, and everything. So, yeah, it, yeah, it, it is. You're either going to like it or you don't. I mean, I can say, yeah, I, I, I do like it. I, I think it's pretty over the top. But, like I say, he's got decent actors in it. He's got Bill Paxman out as Jeff Tracy. He's even... <laughs> <laughs> he's even got, um, you know, he, he's got the enemy of the hood uh, and all of that, you know, absolutely brilliant. Man. But all these are top actors who play Thunderbird. <laughs> they really are. They really are. Yeah, really are. But, like I said, that was Jonathan Frakes who did that. And as an homage, you saw a puppet hand in that. Like, what you're doing these, when they're picking something up, you see a real human hand. And it's usually Jerry Anderson's hand for a male or Sylvia Anderson for a female. It's usually one of two hands, basically. And that, and it's absolutely amazing. You know what I mean? Because people say, well, how do they pick things up? Well, like me and you, they go, they go like that. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, but uh, yeah, from from what I found out when you you know when I was watching docu, I've seen documentaries of this, but I've seen the in depth documentary on Thunderbirds and how he made made his sets and his sets were only small, basically small sets and how he made you know the you know all the scenes. Um, there's there's one where Lady Penelope is in a boat and she's going past a great big cruise. Well, they didn't film all of that. It wasn't a full yeah. It wasn't you know. Just, just to model up from front at boat, and as they come past them, they got it on film. And all the voice actors did what they did, you know what I mean? But yeah.
But the guy's, a, well, he, he was a genius. And without Jerry Anderson, you wouldn't have got Super Imagination. He made it popular, he, he really did. People have tried it before and failed. Whereas Jerry Anderson did it and didn't fail. I think he understood the marionette side of it. I, I really do. I'm, 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 I mean, and then you got the imagination with the story. Uh, and then, you, you know, they're able to say it, Thunderbirds. That is amazing. You know, people call it Thunderbirds, uh, girl, but... It is, when you look at it, it, it it's just called Thunderbirds. What you've got to understand is Thunderbirds are a girl in the song, not it's in the music. And it, and it says right at the end, Thunderbirds are a girl. You know what I mean? But it's just called Thunderbirds, where this is called Captain Scale and the Mystery Ones. Yeah. So, yeah, it, it really is pretty cool. Um, I know. I know, kids, they, they love it. My kids loved it. So, anyone else's kids will love it. I love it. Yeah, you know I mean, that's why I've got it. <laughs> um, I've had quite a few copies, but like I say, yeah, you know I mean, but like I said, I've got these. I, I'm after the others, which will, you know, I will be getting them. It, it's just when I can get the money, you know what I mean, to do it, to get them. But yeah. Because you've got supercar and all that to, yeah, I've, I've got supercar to get, I've got the, I've, I've got the fire, fireball XL5 to get, and I've got the, um, the, uh, <laughs> the secret service to get, then I've got Joe Knighted to get, then I've got Stingray to get, and then, <clears throat> Tether Hawks to get, and things like that, hmm. Yeah, I mean, because I've got Thunderbirds and I've got Captain Scarlet. So, by, if by any chance you like to see an old, you know, you know you, you've enjoyed it, please, please like the video. Please consider to subscribe. And if you do subscribe, please hit the bell and hit all. That will let you know when I'm uploading another video. And please, please share the video to your friends, family, Facebook, Twitter. And also, please, most importantly, comment below in the comment section. Please comment below. I do and try and answer all your comments as faithfully as I can. Yeah, I mean, it might only be a quick hello, but, you know, if you want to know more, then let me know, basically. You know, you know, you know just say, you know, whatever. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So that's it. But apart from that, you know, Jerry Anderson's imagination all on Captain Scarlet, and especially to get the bad guys, the you know, the voice of the mystery ones. And how, and how the hell do you, you know, because people said to me, they said, well, how did he do it? I says, well, how, how you know, you hear the voice of the mystery ones, but how did you know it was the mystery ones? And I says, them two circles. And they were like alien green, weren't they? Well, well I think they were green in that. I'm absolutely sure it was. Alien Green, I think. I, 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 you know, just two circles. And then voice at Mr. Jones. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, the guy's a genius. He, he really was a genius. And I think a lot of people underappreciated him, really. But he was a fantastic bloke. Really was a good bloke. And that's off to him. He, he, he made a lot of my favourite TV uh, series, it's like Space 1999. Uh, but before that, UFO came out. Now, UFO, that was brilliant. Yeah, Ed Bishop again in that. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. UFO, absolutely brilliant. But what I will be doing is I'll let you into a little secret. I might be watching Forty Towers next. Don't hold me to that. But I might be doing 40 Towers next. But that is a lot longer than these. <laughs> but I can watch a couple of episodes, get me sent to gear, and then give you my verdict over it. It's as simple as that. So, uh, you know, like I say, please like, subscribe. And I do appreciate all my subscribers. So, and it's not only my channel, it's your channel as well. So subscribe. Please share the video. Like I said, to all your friends and family and Facebook and Twitter. And please comment below. 
and I will be eternally grateful. Now, I'll catch you. Oh, and before I go, uh, I do. I'm going to do do a, a couple of shout outs. Is UK Kraut Gaming? I like to see him get up to 700. Really would. Um, oh, I think last time I saw him, he were up to. I think it were. Can't remember. I think it was about six and a half. I can't remember. Um, but red again. So UK Kraut. If you don't know, if you know who he is, and find he's subscribed, fine. But if you don't, check his channel out. Go check his channel out, and watch it. Um, I like to mention Yorkshire lad. Yeah, you know, he's a fellow Yorkshireman. He's Yorkshire lad. Yorkshire lad. He's got a great channel as well. At the moment, he's doing backwards compatibility. He, 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 you know, from X, uh, pre, uh, Xbox 360 to Xbox One. Um, also, check out this other channel as well. Check out. Are you ready for this? Jordy Slasher Gaming. Check him out. He, he's really a good. He, he, he's, a, he's a good channel but check him out he could do with a bit more subs I think mm. just say to all those just say hey, look, I've sent you it's as simple as that and also Ink, the Ink Northerner I think he deserves a shout out I haven't shouted him out for a while um, the Ink Northerner go check his channel out as well and you'll be very surprised on all those channels, what I've just made, you'll be very surprised. Um, I like the content. I think all of them have got a great sense of humour, which this is what you do need a great sense of humour when you're talking to you sitting in front of a camera. I tell you, notes, very professional. <laughs> but that is YouTube, and it is all about YouTube. So, thank you for watching this particular video, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Ball. Now.